Hi everyone in English 2323, it's Dr. E and I'm here with your week 11 instructional video. Please note that there is a cat eating in the background. Just ignore her. All right, so if we go to D2L and to the content area, we will see uh, the module and the information for week 11. So you do have uh, a short story to read by Katherine Mansfield this week. It's entitled The Garden Party, uh, as well as of course her biography so we get a, a sense of when she lived, what she wrote about and why. Uh, for this week, you do not have a supplemental video, uh, but you do actually have uh, a video on the writing collection, which is not due this week. It's actually due in a couple weeks, but I want you to get a sense of kind of where your work this week and previously is heading because you do have a written response due this week. So it will make uh, some sense, hopefully. And of course, you can always come back to that uh, video. So you also have a pack back discussion and question due on Thursday uh, and then a written response uh, and quiz that's due on uh, Sunday. So here's the link for the writing collection and then you'll note that there are guidelines and a template here that you can look at and of course those are also available in uh, this module right here. So I'm going to scroll down just to kind of visit what we're doing this week. The first of course is pack back and so that's hopefully kind of old hat to you now. So just remember that you want to include the week number in at the beginning of your question uh, and base it on Mansfield writing, right? So push one another to really consider how she's writing, what she's writing about, how her life um, connects to the text, right? So don't ask something really broad in general, right? Write a question that urges your colleagues to really focus on a particular aspect, right? Um, because there's so much we can write about any of those questions that I mentioned, but we want something a bit more specific, right? I do want to take some time to uh, walk through the written response assignment for this week. So it is related, of course, to the garden party. And I've put a quote here from um, from Mansfield. It's the section where this will make sense once you read it, right? Uh, she stopped. She looked at her brother. Isn't life, she stammered, isn't life. But what life was, she couldn't explain. No matter, he quite understood. Isn't it, darling? Said Laurie. Okay, that'll make sense once you read it. Uh, so I put in three paragraphs, I want you to explore the story to explain what she means, right? So, you know, it says here, she couldn't explain. So I really want you to read with that in mind and figure out, you know, what is it that she's trying to say and why? Okay, so in order to do this, you'll want to choose a lens through which to view the text. So just the same as uh, the question that you create in pack back, you want to narrow your focus a little. So the question in pack back, you're helping your your colleagues kind of narrow their focus. But uh, when writing, you know, this entry for the uh, written response, I really want you to think about um, something specific because I mean, there have been entire books written about Mansfield, entire books written about this short story. Uh, so we want to narrow our focus uh, to not only it, it, it helps us, it's being kind to ourselves to make sure that our, our thoughts can be organized in some sort of fashion rather than, you know, all the different directions you can go in when you're writing about literature. So the first uh, to think of if you want to consider is characterization. So choose one or two characters and explain how Mansfield creates these characters and how uh, how she creates them. When we read the short story, how do these characters give us a sense of what our main character might mean in her utterance, right? So remember that characterization is there are two layers to it. The first is thinking about Mansfield as the author, right? How does she write these characters? Does she give us adjectives? How do we get a sense of who this character is based on what she writes, right? And then that leads to what do we then, what are we supposed to think about this character because of what Mansfield is creating, right? So it's the language she uses, it's how she sets this up. Uh, setting. How does Mansfield create the setting and how does that have an effect on what she believes, um, what we believe she means at the end, right? Because setting has an impact, especially given the title, which is interesting, you'll see. Um, so think about how the setting has some sort of impact there. Time period. Uh, does the time period in which Mansfield wrote, uh, Mansfield wrote have an impact on what she you know, what you believe she means at the end. And then class, class does play a role in these discussions. And oftentimes uh, in this period of writing, there are class distinctions or authors who are thinking about the different uh, class structures are definitely in place uh, in this in this era in history. So I want you to think about that if it's one of these that you choose. So just choose one of these. 
Uh, to support your ideal ideas, you'll need to use brief quotes from Mansfield's work. Make sure that you're following MLA formatting guidelines and please, please, please use the template. Okay. All right. So that is uh, the written response and that is due on Sunday. All right. Let me scroll down. And then you do have the week 11 quiz. So just make sure that, you know, this is a tight week in terms of the work that we have due. So just make sure that you're planning ahead and kind of uh, setting a good and useful schedule to yourself that's kind, right? You don't want to be too hard on yourself when it comes to this. Uh, as always, please reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, hopefully you're not feeling too kind of... Um, lethargic or exhausted or anything after returning from spring break, often this is the time that things kind of start to lull a little bit. So dig deep, find that energy uh, and know that you are doing so well so far. It's just a few more weeks of really digging in and being energized. So hang in there.